In this video, we will be showing how to connect the Renogy Adventurer charge controller to a battery and solar panel. The Adventurer is a 30 amp PWM charge controller meant for 12 or 24 volt systems. The Adventurer can support 400 watts on a 12 volt system or 800 watts on a 24 volt system. The first step needed to set up the Adventurer is to connect it to a 12 volt or 24 volt battery. In this video, we will use a 12 volt battery. We will use these tray cables to make the connection. When connecting the cables, make sure there are no cables sticking out of the terminals to ensure safety connectivity. As you can see, the controller turned on once the battery was connected. The adventurer will display five different parameters. To cycle through the displays, press the select button. Here are the five different displays. This is battery voltage. Next is generated energy. Next is PV amperage. Next is PV or solar panel voltage and the last one is battery temperature. If using the provided temperature sensor, which we will go over in just a few minutes. The next step is to set up the battery type. The controller can charge sealed, gel or flooded batteries. To change the battery type, highlight the screen that shows the battery voltage. Press and hold down the button until the battery type screen shows up. The default setting is SEL or sealed. After reaching the screen, press the select button to cycle between the three options and then press enter to save the battery type. The adventurer will come with additional four components. The first is a surface mount attachment. This is used to mount the adventurer on a flat surface. The second is the remote temperature sensor. Connect the sensor to the labeled port on the controller and then place the sensor inside the battery compartment. The sensor can also be taped to one side of the battery. The last is the battery voltage sensor. Connect the sensor to the labeled port on the controller. This sensor is polarity sensitive, so make sure to connect the brown wire to the positive battery terminal and the blue wire to the negative battery terminal. These sensors provide the adventurer with a more accurate battery temperature and voltage. The last component is the mounting screws by which you can flush mount the controller or mount the controller using the back plate. The final step is to connect the solar panel. We will use this adapter kit to connect the panel to the adventurer. This panel is for demonstration purposes only. The one we will be connecting is located outside. Once the panel is connected, the PV voltage will be shown on the adventurer's LCD screen. This sums up our installation video. We hope this video has helped you familiarize yourself with our adventurer charge controller. For any questions regarding the unit, please give our support team a call. You can find our contact information below. Thank you for your purchase and have a wonderful day.